Kama Games is the largest uh, European social, social mobile poker operator and one of the, third, uh, one of the three biggest um, social mobile pokers in the world by revenue. Um, in the last year, we, uh, we achieved remarkable results in terms of revenue and uh, we hit $57.5 million and it's 63.4% increase uh, compared to 2016. Uh, we also achieved another big milestone for us, uh, which, which is 100 million players uh, enjoying our games now. Um, so we have a portfolio of uh, successful and uh, really good social casino games. There are eight of them at the moment, uh, will be more soon. And um, one of the most famous titles we have is uh, Pokerist, Texas Hold'em Poker. Um, the game was ranked uh, as number one top grossing app by Apple in 101 country and by Google in 45 countries. So in this year, um, um, in the first quarter, our revenue um, grew 50% uh, as well, comparing to the first quarter of 2017. And daily active users um, increased almost 30%. Uh, comparing to the fourth quarter of the last year. So over the past uh, eight years, uh, we've um, carried out extensive research and um, uh, experiments with, uh, within all our social casino <laughs> games uh, in order to find uh, ways to increase uh, our most important KPIs. And uh, throughout this time, we were able to figure out uh, a number of key aspects which impacted, um, which, which impact our main KPIs or KPIs of our games. And um, how we did it? So we, we changed the rules um, of the game. I can assume that it, it may sound like a cliche because we are at social, or at casual, Connect and casual social games conference, not gambling conference, but uh, we made poker casual. So um, one of our key objections uh, was uh, to make it more fun and more casual. For example, for real money players, um, it, is, it is normal to, to fold five hands uh, prior to getting a decent one. For social players, uh, it's not interesting at all. And they would like to get everything as quick as possible. So a good example of it is that 90% of our players uh, call their bets uh, pre-flop, while for real money, play, uh, real money poker players, this number is around 30%, so almost three times less. Uh, our players expect to play each hand until the end whilst uh, feeling a number of different emotions and which is more important uh, having more and more fun. One of the first innovations we did and we believe we were the first in it uh, was uh, party modes. Um, so every week our players uh, can enjoy poker with a different and specific uh, set of rules. Um, currently we have eight different modes. Uh, we'll have more uh, until, the end of the, uh, until the end of this year. And as an example, um, players can play um, a deck with, uh, with 10 to ace cards only, with jokers or they can play um, where a game where um, river card is clone of uh, one of other cards on the table. Our, our main goal here was to encourage players to call each hand, still until, uh, stay until the end of each round. And party modes have positively affected our daily active users, online users, and retention. Uh, on the launch day of uh, a party mode, hands, number of hands played increase usually 
uh, by 15 to 20 percent. There were some other attempts uh, to make um, to make poker, which is uh, very hardcore and uh, classical game uh, more more casual. So, for example, uh, WSOP released uh, Crown Hold'em and uh, players are able to play decks with nine to ace. Poker Stars released uh, Split Hold'em, where players can bet on two lines uh, of community cards immediately. And uh, for for all of us, uh, there, there was a single objection, objective uh, to allow players the possibility uh, to get even better hand, even more often. Um, have more fun and unique gaming experience. So the next key factor that contributed to our success uh, is our in-game uh, content cycle. Due to the nature of social casino games and poker in particular, it's quite hard to, um, to add new content into the game, um, for example, as, as this possible in uh, some other genre, genres like RPG or strategy games. To solve this challenge, we decided to engage players by other means and to, uh, to create a cycle of everyday activities, uh, starting from gaming events to personal sales events, promotions, tournaments. And every day in our game, uh, players can, can play uh, something different, um, or have a tournament, or party mode, or boost poker, or roulette poker uh, tournament, or slot jackpot. Uh, at the same time, we give very generous uh, sales, uh, personalized offers uh, as well. So, f for an example, uh, as an example, if we look at other areas of the market. Uh, we can notice uh, such game as Clash Royale, for example, and it's a very good example how players can enjoy various kinds of uh, challenges there, as well as can play, for example, different decks of cards with uh, different rules each. Our in-game events are limited uh, in time, uh, by time, and therefore it encourages players even more to spend more time in the game uh, in order to, uh, to experience them all and um, before they finish. In addition, we have cross-playing uh, events which actually encourage players to play different games um, and due to our own statistics, 51% of our players um, play two or more social casino games when they log in or when they uh, get into the game uh, each day. So all this activity and focus has contributed significantly to the 30% um, uh, growth of our revenue, average revenue per paying user and as well as increase of our of number of paying users in 2017 by 6%. Another way to increase retention in social casino games is definitely social or social features and boosting social interactions between players. Uh, in some respect, Pokerist is almost like a social network where players have their own circles of friends, acquaintances, rivals with pretty strong interconnections between them. Besides that, our players enjoy a host of different social features, mechanics, like personal messenger, a table such chat, gifts, invites, ratings, animated emojis, and other things. One more thing I wanted to share. Um, due to the maturity of the social casino market and continuous growing, uh, continuous growth of user acquisition costs. We, uh, a number of years ago, we started to look for, for other 
opportunities um, for the company. And we started to work and look for partnerships. Uh, this is a good example we, we did in 2017. Um, Poker Night in America, um, pretty famous TV show, poker TV show in America, 250,000 viewers per week. Um, so it's broadcasted uh, at CBS Sports, some other uh, TV networks, uh, Comcast, Altitude Sports, Root Sports, and others. So we launched uh, a joint application uh, with uh, Poker Night in America also to, um, to get users in the, in the US uh, from, from, from the US currently, we have almost 36% of our revenue. And besides that, uh, it's a very good example uh, of uh, acquiring users outside the uh, normal acquisition channels, user acquisition channels for us. And a very good retargeting tool, which we actually uh, researched and uh, saw in accordance with our statistics. So, uh, small note that um, despite the show um, has only classic Texas Hold'em, uh, in the app, uh, we recently added Omaha, uh, party modes, boost poker, and players enjoy it all. Almost it, we are, um, we are launching more uh, new games this year. We're launching, uh, that's, that's actually what was launched except for the Split Bad Poker. Uh, this was launched in 2017, Split Bad Poker, Bad Poker was launched recently. Uh, this year we also launched uh, a game, Poker Champions, with partnership uh, with user games in India. We're launching more slot machines until the end of this year. Three, four more games, Scraps, Teen Party, Paigal, Video Poker, um, launching more. Um, party modes, and I hope to to share with you more insights um, and the results of how it all works next year or next casual connect. So thank you for thank you very much.